Hello, it's the Jack again, bringing you another, another, another Supreme Commander 2 game. It's a replay, and it's on Fields of Isis. It's a 2v2, we have left versus right. On the left side we have Dirt Lobster and Remen, and they're going up against myself and Dark Assassin. So, let's get started and get past the economy so we can get to the interesting parts of the game, shall we? Because, well, straight away you see Lobster and Remen both building a air factory. You see myself building an air factory. And Remen also builds a land factory. He does nothing with the air factory. I wonder what that was about because that has an extreme investment in mass and it's going to be quite crippling for him to have wasted it. Now oh, here we go, there goes my planes. Killing lobsters as they build. It's always worthwhile to maintain the air advantage. Air supremacy is a powerful thing. We have here Remen's gone the TAC missile launcher research upgrade. That's an interesting choice, especially against a Cybran. You can already see the adapters are rolling out, rendering that missile launcher completely ineffective once the adapters are spread out. Those missiles don't stand a chance. Two more planes and I move in to kill them, despite the AA lobsters built. Still worth it. I do lose a plane, however, two planes. But it's still worth it to kill lobsters planes as they build. You can see these factory missiles here are doing a terrific job of killing a mass point, a radar, and it looks like they're killing another mass point. Remen even builds another attack missile launcher. Quite a huge waste of mass. I think it's 350 mass per launcher. That's a lot of mass to fire to be completely useless. He does however get a mass point. Seems as though he's determined to put those to use. It looks like he's going to get a factory as well. Dark Assassin's still spraying out the adapters everywhere. Once they're at every place, those attack missile launchers become useless, as you can see here. And that's a third attack missile launcher. Even more wasteful. Problem is, the attack missile launchers only become useful if you say have 10, 15 launchers and they all shoot at the exact same time. Then no amount of adapters can deal with all those missiles at once. It's just not possible. You can see here I've sneaked around an engineer, I'm catching a mass extractor and I capture it before a lot of even notices. He just sent three bombers and a his own adapter adapter, his own engineer here. And I lost an air factory to the attack missiles. As you can see, the adapter just can't hit that the attack missiles at that angle, which is unfortunate for me. But Dark's quickly moving another adapter in there to intercept the missiles. I build a point defence but I lose my engineer. I eventually decide to move in my interceptors. I do have a lot more anyway. I'm determined to keep that mass point. Remen and Dark are still building up their land forces. The attack missile launcher target is the point defence, meaning it's dead, yep. But I do kill all of lobsters airplanes. So, air advantage to me once again. Lobster has nothing but a single bomber and he's already switching to land. Smooth move. But while he's doing that, I sent a wave of bombers to Remen's back base to kill everything there, seeing as it's mostly undefended. Little AA. While I'm doing that, Remen's moving his land force out. Lobster did capture this again, but I am killing it as well. AA upgraded in the factory, I decide to flee. And I think I head for Remen's land force. Uh, all the adapters, Dark Hat to build, you can't handle that land force, but a good bombing run here and. Yeah, it instantly changes the tide of the battle. The Brackman finish off everything else, as well as the loyalists. Done. Now I send all my bombers and interceptors to deal with Fremen's back base once again. As you can see, I'm getting them into position to 
be useful. The interceptors are rendered useless as gloves are switched to land, so the idea is to move them in first. They soak up the AA fire while my bombers do the damage. Sounds great. And here they go. As you can see, they're doing a terrific job of soaking up the damage. And here comes the bombers. There goes one factory. There goes the next factory. Now I really should kill the engineer before it builds that AA tower, but I don't notice and I leave them to bomb their own things. All the while, Bremen's queuing up a fourth attack missile launcher. Huge waste spot at this point in the game. Lobster's tr struggling to build up a land force. It can't be easy. Looks like I finally noticed the AA tower and I'm bombing it now. And there it goes. Next, the NG, and there it goes. Now it's just a matter of cleaning everything up. Uh, it's been mostly a one-sided game, hasn't it? But it's been fun nonetheless. Adapters are skew askew everywhere, defending us from attack missiles. They are now covering every single structure. There's nothing the attack missiles can do. As you can see, they're firing more concisely in one group. It's almost very difficult for the adapters to deal with. And that's only three. That's only four? Yeah, four attack missile launchers. And the adapters are already struggling. They're just far too inaccurate. But I've dealt with all of Lob uh, Remen's mass points and such energy. So that's Remen crippled on one mass extractor now. So there goes Ma Remen's mass. Looks like Remen and Lobster are gearing up for a massive attack. I take the opportunity to go for a bombing run on their land forces while they're grouped up like that and... I do get a good portion of two of them. I go in for another bombing run. And there goes another portion. And you can see Dark there with a force fire in the middle pass, force not letting them get through. All the while I'm just mopping them up with planes. Now there's so few Dark takes opportunity to charge through. So it looks like Dark doesn't need my help much anymore, but I still go for Remen's land force. And the Brackman finish everything else of and loyalists. So that's just their base is left. Lobster's moving out is calm to deal with us. I managed to turn my efforts at the last moment to save it. But Dark did have to sacrifice about 15, 20 loyalists to kill the calm. And there's Remen's calm moving out as well. Lost her control keys, Gloucester's given up, so it's just Remen left. It's game over as there's not anything Remen can do anyway. He does go for the comm bomb and I once again save my planes at the last moment. Not so much luck for Dark's land force however. I do bomb what structures I can just for the points. I love me points and there we go, that's the end of the game. 16 minutes long. So, it was a interesting game. The attack missile launchers were a huge investment from Remen, and they were instantly countered by adapters. Why he kept building more of them, I'll never know, but with enough of them, he would have eventually started punching through. But the amount of mass required to achieve that is just far too great on this small, small map. Lobster trying to go air, so I went air. My idea was, as long as I go air, I would not have to worry about AC-1000s. Because all the adapters in the world can't stop an AC-1000. It's just the AC-1000 outranges the adapter. It's as simple as that. So my only choice, go air, Remen, eh, lobster went air, and I outspammed him, killed his planes as they were building, earning the advantage. I also sent a spare engineer to capture our mass point, which is hilarious. And, yeah, I did notice this earlier, but... Dark! completely ignored one of his mass points. I did not notice this at the time of the game, but he completely forgot one of his mass points and did not build on it at all. I wonder why. I wonder if he's even aware of this. Because, my god, 
1.2 mass can make all the difference. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the game. You can check out my channel for more and you can also subscribe. So, yeah.